show how to release the immobilizer. This is a immobilizer bypass module. Okay. Okay, put our original key inside. Okay. Pay attention, the IC is in the coil. Okay. Uh, now I directly show how it works. This is a cable with a immobilizer bypass module. Third. Okay, now I put it on ground to show the demo how it works. This two wire is to your PKE main unit. This is a recycle end. Recycle end. Okay. Look at this. This is a car. Original ignition head. Now I start the engine Wait, without key. Start the engine. Fail, fail. Okay. Now I use the recycle wire. Look at this one, two, three, four, five. This is okay, just wrap them, and everything is okay. Look, let's check. Whether this is a start engine. Successfully. Stop. Okay. Take out it. Start. Fail. Fail. Okay. Recycle wire. Start the engine. Successfully. Okay. Drive it. And uh, Put the immobilizer bypass module inside the pen. Everything is okay. That's all. Thank you. Okay, this is a uh, part 15. Uh, Compound 1100B and installation. This part, I'll show you how to bypass the, the chip uh, and the key. Um, with the ring, the RFID ring that comes uh, original from the factory. Um, this is the ring right here, and basically, what it does uh, when you put the ignition key, it senses the chip and the key, and when you turn it, it allows the car to turn on. 
So if this is if this ring is not there, it won't turn on. And this ring comes off easy. It just has a couple of clips and you just uh, you pull it with your finger like that it comes off. Now the way I'm gonna show you right here is so you don't have to use an immobilizer transponder bypass where you put the key in. Um, basically, all you do is uh, you put the key right here, like this, and then uh, you uh, you tie it with the strap so so the car will will turn on. If the key is not here, and you press on the brake, and you push the button to turn on, it won't turn on. Now, if you put the key in the uh, RFID loop from the car, then you press the brake, and you push the button, and it turns on. So that's what the loop is for. It senses the chip and the key. And all you do is just, uh, you put the key in here and you get a SIM type and uh, you just run that in here. Put the key in there. Just, uh, just, just pass it through here. And uh, wrap it around. Zip tie it, tighten it up, and that's it. That's all you do when uh, you cut the zip tight, and uh, you just find out this is where I put mine, just behind here. There. That's it. That's all you do. Thank you. Okay, this is uh, part six of card box 1100 B in alarm installation. This part, we're gonna take the ignition switch off. So here we go. We just uh, pop this. There's a little clip right here, and there it comes off. Then we put the ignition key. Uh, gonna put something in there to push it. And there it is. It's out. And that's it. That's all you do.